one I'm going to show you guys how to use um, easy bead patterns and create your own peyote patterns people are asking me how I made my um, peyote pattern for the change purse so I'm going to show you guys how to exactly from start to finish how to make your own patterns so first and foremost you're going to go to Google or not Google wherever you're going to go to my channel you're going to pick any one of my videos that I uploaded for the change purse so any one of them so let's just click on one now underneath the video you see this show more box and a lot of people don't even know this show more box exists so they don't click on it they don't even read the description um, underneath there I have a link it says here is a link to download the free pattern maker so you click on this link it brings you to easy bead patterns now you can download for Windows for Mac and there's a user guide in this so it tells you um, step by step how to install it so once you get that done we don't need that up once you get that done you're going to open up your easy bead pattern this is what it's going to look like you're going to have all these um, little circles and these are indications of where your beads are going to be so to the left of this you'll see a drop down box where you can you you can make a loom pattern a peyote pattern a two drop which is exactly what I did for the change purse I made the two drop you can do a brick stitch pattern you can do a rosette pattern which is in a complete circle um, and you can do a right angle weave pattern okay now I chose the two drop peyote and this is the one I used for making the name so I made his mom's my husband's mother's name so right now it's showing you columns and rows so in here you're going to uh, decrease the columns because there's 300 and something columns here so I'm only going to use like uh, 20 for now 20 columns no 20 is too much let's see if I can take that down a notch okay or up a notch okay so if you just click the arrow up and down over here you can see the rows increasing or the columns now the rows it's showing 40 rows so this will go as far as 40 rows down you can make it as many rows as you want you can go I don't know 300 rows if you want um, I'm going to decrease the rows so I'm just gonna make this little square box here so we have two drop peyote 35 columns and 20 rows so 35 columns is uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 20, 20, 30, 32, 34. Okay, because it's two drop, we got to go 36 because we didn't have that extra column in there. So each one of these, these ones here are counted as a row. So you see where my cursor is pointing on that black highlighted circle. That's one column. That's two three so each one of them is individual now I I don't I don't do anything else with this other than to make peyote patterns over on the right side is your Mayuki Delica color chart and in this color chart there's like tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of colors so let's just go pick a few colors let's pick something that you guys are gonna see Garnet, <coughs> Garnet Gold Red Luster. Now, to create a pattern, you, you, you need to find the center. So, for 36 divided by 2 would be, <coughs> oh gosh, that's not going to be, it's not going to be even. So we'll, we'll say this is the center here, okay? And we'll get rid of two rows. So we'll go back to 34 rows. So you, I've got 34 row columns now. So now I'm just going to go and start 
making anything. You can put any color you want in here. So let's just do a little diamond, I guess. Um, let's do this. Okay, so we have this done. Um, so if you made a mistake up here, you have a plus sign with a pencil, it looks like, and a minus sign. So click on the minus sign and you can erase what you just did. Just rub your cursor over it and poof, it's gone. Now you just push the pencil. Oops, see now I made a mistake. So I'll erase it. You got to push the plus sign pencil to get your color back. All right, so now over on this column here on this side, it shows you the color. So it is Garnet Gold Luster in a Delica B or DB0105. That's the color that you, you used here. So if you want to go online and order your Delica colors, there's your color code right there. And it'll give you the exact color that they're using in this easy bead pattern. Now, let's take this color and color it in here. And this pattern color, or this color I chose was transparent light topaz. Okay, so now I'm going to use one called root beer. I'm just going to fart around here with colors. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just, I'm just playing. Just to give you guys an an idea. All right. So there's that color. Now let's pick another color. Uh, here's a transparent blue. Um, we'll do a whole big area in this color. There is an, uh, a place to flood too. I know you can flood a color. Where is that tool? This one here, I think, is the flood? No. Right here. There we go. You can flood it like this. Okay, so pretend that's your pattern. Um, if you want to spell someone's name, you could just take... Oops, I'm still on the flood. So I'm changing colors. <laughs> that's what I did. So just click on it, it changes the whole entire area. If I clicked in here, it, it will change those colors in there. So I'm just changing the colors of the the rows that are not, um, had any color in them. So let's go back to one at a time. I'm going to pick a really dark color here. So we'll pick this one, see if that'll work. And you can kind of spell a name. This is how I did his mom's name. It took a few tries. And this is how I spelled Pat. So if your name is Pat, you can do it this way. Okay. And then I'm really not going to have enough room because I messed up. So let me erase this and over here your column of your colors you can just click on the color you already used oops I'm still on the eraser and refix what you've done all right so now we'll go back to this color here and I'm going to move over a square and I'm going to spell pat and I'm trying to stay even, I guess. I don't know. So I'm just coloring these in. Like this. Oops. And I really don't like what I did up here, so I would just go and take the eraser, correct it, take the gold purple, and whoops, change it up there. And change it to that okay so there's most of the lettering so I'm going to do a T now whoops <laughs> that 
That was perfect. Perfect. Oops, one eraser. All right, let's see if I can do this without scribbling that up again. So there's Pat. Doesn't look. <coughs> doesn't look right. So if I go down a row, anyway, you get the gist of what I'm trying to do here. So this is how you would spell a name. You can see I don't have it very even. But this is the just basic instructions on how to use your easy bead pattern. Now, I don't know if you can actually change this. There's peyote stitch. That's what it would look like in peyote. Let's go back to the two drop. Now up here, you're going to go to file and you're going to save your file and you're just going to type um, whatever the name of your file is and click save. Also here, you can export your, pa pa your pattern to a PDF. So let's say name and we'll save this to PDF. And it's going on my desktop so we'll just save it and that's it that's really basic how you use this you can make your pattern as big as you want you can make uh, a really nice loom pattern if you wanted to loom this that's what it would look like as a loomed pattern you'd have to definitely fix some of the work in here and center this but I just started here just to give you guys an idea of how to do this so here's all your colors that you've used so if you are making something and use these specific colors that you like go online and order those Delica Mayukis remember these are Mayuki palettes and over here is your colors now if there's not a color in here I think if you type the color number in there um, uh, 2109 there is no such color so one nine zero nope um zero one four four yep zero one four four is silver line dark topaz so just as an example I punched in a number and now that color came up in here so sometimes you can't actually find the color in the palette but it's there if you type the number in so anyway, that's, I'm going to close this out. I am going to show you if this, how do you want to open this file? What did I make? Uh, I don't know. I don't want to open the file. Yeah, look in the app store. I don't think so. Uh, let's open this one. This is your PDF. Oh, that's a PTNX. Oopsies. You needed to save it as a JP, J, JPEG. Uh, where's my picture? What happened? Let's go back to easy bead patterns if I know what happened here. It didn't work. Um, let's just scribble on some dots. We'll do some really cool artwork. <laughs> and now I can show you guys how to... Alright, I'm just having some fun. If you like this idea, this is probably going to turn out pretty cool. Uh, let's take Aqua. Um, let's take a yucky color yellow. And let's flood the rest that hasn't been, oops, flood. Whoa, that's pretty barfy. Oh, I don't like that. 
I don't think I can even handle looking at it. There we go. All right. So go back up here to File. Um, export pattern to an image. That's what we want. So it will end up being a gem, J, JPEG, whatever you call it, JPEG, JPG. So let's go to Pattern. Click Save. And then up here, Export Pattern to uh, Name. And it's a PDF, so I'm going to save it. Now let's go see if it worked. There's our... Um, I've got Windows 10 and my computer's a mess. All right, so... There is our beautiful JPG pattern that we made. And look here. I didn't fill in these dots, but anyway, you get the gist of that. And this one says PDF. Let's see if it came to a PDF. It's still... What the heck? All right. Open. Unless my PDF reader, no. Nope. Open with um, reader. There we go. So there's my PDF file. So I really hope this helps you guys to understand how to work easy bead patterns. This is a free tool that you can download online, and it's good for beginners. Um, I don't know what all this stuff is up here because, oh, it's a circle. I don't know. This is probably an undo button, so this will undo everything you did. Clicking up here. You can play around with this. You can do whatever you want. You can also print it, but my computer, I tried printing off my pattern. I had to go to Facebook on t and open the picture on Facebook and download it or print it that way because it showed up I did it landscape and the pattern showed up really nicely as you can see in my video I ended up printing it off that way and it was nice and big because I got to blow it up so anyway I hope this video helps you guys understand and you learn how to use this so enjoy and I want to see all these creative patterns that you guys make and I'll see you guys soon on the next video. Hope this helped. Bye, everyone. What'd you do, Rebecca?